Coaches, when constructing an attacking exit play, you've got to start with your outcome first. What do you want to achieve through this exit play? You've got to analyze your opposition, try to pair your strength against their weakness, manipulate the defense through, through your play, and then fourthly, accuracy in execution is vital. So following that steps, the outcome for the Blues in this play would be to play territory number one, and number two is to isolate Mitch Hunt at the back. Mitch Hunt only weighing just over 80 kilograms, so not the biggest man on the field. And they opt for the five-man lineout, which gives them Akira Ioane and Gibson as runners with the ball to target that first channel of Fritzel, Hunt and Ioane. So they play a five-man, win the ball number one important, and Ioane makes the first tackle there. From that first ruck, Tui Peloto, the jump in the lineup, his locking partner, and the hooker comes around. And you'll see here Bowden Barrett deliberately plays the inside ball just to keep the folding defenders from the lineup, the number three and two, and Hunt occupied. The Blues wanted to create a situation where it's their backs against the Highlanders' backs, and it's a race now to the first ruck after the kick. They've got their two locks and props next to the kick and the ruck available in defense. And Akira Ioane Clark and Gibson drops to the far side, the quicker defenders. But they also have an attacking option if they win the counter ruck. So everything is structured here and in place. The execution of the play also important. So a good kick from Barrett and an effective tackle from Rico on Mitch Hunt. Ioane also dropping to the far side as the playmaker. But Dylan Hunt faces four Blues players weighing between 95 and 100 kilogram, uh, charging at him and Aaron Smith, both of them only weighing barely 80 kilograms. Uh, so the race to the ruck is won by the Blues, and then they also dominate that space and win the counter ruck situation. You can see uh, five Highlander uh, backline players stuck in that ruck situation, plus the uh, number seven Hunt. And that creates the space on the outside with Akira Ioani, Clark and Gibson available. All the Blues need to do now is shift the ball to Bowden Barrett, the playmaker, and he needs to make decisions. You can see Akira already outside, he's number 8. Uh, and then they've got Clark and Gibson available as well. With accurate passing, continuity in support play, they finish a fantastic try in the corner.